the trapezoid under the nose. She's got a really nice one. There's a little bit of a V there. And then I see the bottom of it here, and I see the bottom of the nose here, so I'm looking for that trapezoid. I'm looking for the angle of the nose on this side also. Now, because I'm doing a three-quarter view, you know, a three-quarter view is, is seeing part of one side of the face and a quarter of one side of the face and half of the other side of the face. So I'm seeing much more of this area of her face. So because I have that, um, this eye is going to be shorter because of the fact that the nose comes across the tear duct and I'm not going to see that part. So I'm always aware of those things. And I want to bring her cheek in right away. So you're always correcting your drawing, always reassessing where you might be off a little bit, where you can fix it a little bit. I'm going to also, again, start right here. I'm going to look at that forehead line. Pull that back in a little bit more because I want her eye to be a certain size. It's, it's really neat because the minute that your model sits down again, um, you're aware of all kinds of new things because you've taken a break yourself. A lot of times when you're just, it's just you and the model, you'll go take, um, you know, go sit down some, or go get some distance from your own work and you walk up to it and you see a lot of different things. And, you know, I've been sitting for these because it's easier to twist and turn and, and for these to talk, so, and I'm more comfortable. But a lot of times I'm standing and I just automatically move away and come forward, move away and come forward. That gives my eye constant time to assess at different distances. And it's very important to do that because otherwise you get too caught up in the small details up here and you get lost and things get out of proportion and your eye gets used to it. So this is really good. Immediately when she came back, I saw that I wanted to lower the hairline 